Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Series. My name is Nathan McMahon. During this episode, we're going to go over how to troubleshoot intermittent errors, such as 404 errors being sent out by the server. So in our scenario here, we've got three different servers that are being load balanced behind a service engine, and the service engine is re receiving requests from this client. As requests come in from the client, server one is sending out a 200 OK, server two is sending out a 200 OK, and server three is not. So what would happen here is that we could set up a health check and the health check is going to look for this content, make sure it's there. And that works if this is something like the index.html or top level page like this. But what if this is a particular image that's 17 layers deep within the application? The health check may not necessarily be able to catch this. These types of issues are really difficult to troubleshoot because it's not something that's easy and evident. If you have a large pool of servers, you're going and hitting the site. So these types of intermittent issues can be a little bit tricky to solve. Now with Abi, we make this really easy. The service engines are doing the data plane processing, they're doing the load balancing. What they're doing is they're taking all of the metadata that's flowing through them, and they're, they're forwarding this off to the Abi controller. The controller sits out of band and it's doing big data and analytics, and it's ingesting all of this information and data. With this, we can drop onto the controller and then go and see what's happening. From the controller here, I can see a list of all of my applications. And I take a look at one of my applications here that has a health score that's not green, health score of 65 instead of 100. It's comprised of a couple of different components, including the performance score. The performance score is the end user experience. Is the site fast? Is it slow? Is it spitting out errors, et cetera? So I can go and delve a little bit further into this, but we're just actually going to go and expand this view. And this is a little bit more of a complicated uh, scenario here. We can't just say which server, this service engine is load balancing this particular virtual service called Alvi Demo. This is doing content switching across four different pools of servers, which can be a little bit more interesting. So if you go to the slash contacts page, go to this pool of servers. If you go to slash downloads, go to that pool of servers. And one of these servers somewhere is sending out some 404s, we're told. So let's go drill into this virtual service and see which ones, what's happening and where. So we can go and change up the display of what period of time we're looking at. And we can see the end user experience, how long it's taking clients to make requests, how long it's taking them to get responses back. We can drill into this a little bit further. And we'll go by looking at the logs. So let's go and flip in, let's say, let's look at the last hour of logs. So I'm filtering for the last hour. I'm filtering for significant logs, meaning errors. We could also show these green non-significant or non-error logs. I've got almost 20,000 errors in the last hour coming back from my servers. Now, what we're looking for is four or four errors. We can type in here into the search field and type something like um, response code equals and go all the way down and, and pick whatever that's going to be. Or what I can do is simply mouse over something like the response code of one of these particular transactions. This is a four four. So the request from the server, the server sent back a four four and now we sent back that four four as well, as opposed to some of these other sending back 200s. So anything blue I can mouse over and I can have that be a filter. So filter for four four errors. And as I filter those down, that filters it down to just under 5,000 errors. And it looks like all of these are slash images slash logo.png that we're seeing here. But we can go and verify that on the right and take a look at different metrics and different dimensions here. So the URL path, let's go and see what the URLs are that people are getting four four errors on. And it looks like 99% of them are logo.png. And one of them is from this joker here. So we want to filter out this other noise. And I'll do that just by clicking on this particular uh, path. Since it's in blue, I can click on that and add that to the filter. And now I want to see which servers are sending out these slow responses. So I can look at the clients, which client browsers, which OS, which device, which part of the world they're coming from. If I want to take it some, a look at something like which server is sending this response, I go to the server IP address. And we can see 100% of these errors are coming from the .200 server. So we know that there's some missing images, and now we can tell you which server that they're coming from and which pool, and we can keep drilling into this further. This is a good example of troubleshooting an inter intermittent issue, like an image is missing from a server. But this could also be some other types of uh, intermittent issues, such as one of your servers is uh, periodically sending out a 500 server busy message. This is how we can troubleshoot some really complex issues without having to resort to more cumbersome tools like TCP dump. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out the other videos in the application delivery how-to series.